Here we're going to take another look at the diffusion of gases, but in particular, we're going to also look at what we call Graham's Law. So what we already discovered is that diffusion is just another word for mixing, so mixing of gases. And let's say that dr stands for diffusion rate, the rate at which the mixing takes place. And what Graham noticed was that the diffusion rate was proportional to 1 over the square root of the mass of these molecules, or the molar mass of the gas. And the reason for that was, is because the VRMS, the representative velocity of molecules, is equal to the square root of 3R T over M. R is a constant, T is a temperature, and M is the molar mass of the molecules. And so therefore, the RMS velocity was inversely proportional to, or proportional to 1 over the inverse of the square root of the mass. So notice the similarity right here. That's why the diffusion rate was directly caused by the RMS velocities, which was caused by the mass of the molecules. So therefore, if we have two gases that are diffusing one into the other, we can then say that the diffusion rate of one gas is proportional to 1 over the square root of the molar mass of that gas, and the diffusion rate of the second gas is proportional to 1 over the square root of the molar mass of the second gas. If we then divide one by the other, if we divide this divided by that, we can then say that the ratio of dr1, the diffusion rate of gas 1, divided by the diffusion rate of gas 2, is equal to the square root of the molar mass of gas 2 divided by the square root of the molar mass of gas 1. And this then became what we call now call Graham's Law. So we didn't actually calculate how fast gases diffuse. We just said that we know the proportionality of the ratios is according to this. Which means, let's say, let's take two gases for example. Let's take helium which has a molar mass equal to 4 grams, and let's take oxygen, which has the molar mass equal to 32 grams. So that would mean that the diffusion rate of helium compared to oxygen can be calculated using their masses. So if we then plug that in here, we can say the diffusion rate of helium divided by the diffusion rate of oxygen gas is equal to the square root of the molar mass of oxygen, which is 32. And of course, we should convert that to kilograms, not that it would make a lot of difference, but let's say it's 0.032 kilograms divided by the molar mass of helium gas, which is 0.004 kilograms. So here you can see that the ratio is 8 to 1, which means that this is equal to the square root of 8. And of course, the square root of 8, let's see, what is that? That's uh, 2.83, so that's a ratio of 2.83, which simply means that the diffusion rate of helium is almost three times as fast as the diffusion rate of oxygen, simply because helium is smaller, moves a lot faster, and can find its way through another gas about three times the speed at which oxygen can do that. And so that's known as Graham's Law.